Ooh, he got me on that one. Respawn, if you're listening, Respawn Entertainment, creators of Apex Legends, my favorite game ever. The game that brings me so much pain and so much joy at the same time. I have a message for you. Keep solos in the game, please. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was an LTM. This has gotta be top three LTMs of all time. I've never had a game where I've had this much fun, this much of a challenge while feeling rewarded for everything that I do correctly. Something that's making me better as a player, a better fighter, been getting better at resetting for third parties, getting better for everything. This game mode has literally made me a better player. When I go play ranked or if I play in tournaments or anything of that nature, playing solos has directly impacted how I fight in this game. And when I tell you that there's nothing more rewarding than dropping 20 bombs in solos, I don't know what else is. It's like the adrenaline rush of winning your first Apex game back in season one, season zero, if you're really an OG, I didn't even play season zero. Season one, season two, winning back then, it felt like this rush, right? Now, especially in pubs, like maybe high level ranked and you kind of get that rush a little bit, but especially in pubs, like winning is like, it's cool and all, but it doesn't hit this, the, the same endorphins. It doesn't, it doesn't feel that, that, that amazing feeling, but solos, it feels like, you, it feels like you really, really earned it. And obviously I personally fight against a lot of different tier caliber of players in my solos games, but a lot of times I fight really good players and fighting really good players and winning in solos and dropping high kill games in solos feels so rewarding my personal favorite thing about solos honestly has to be the weapon system landing on a gun that's kitted already and not having to worry about running around trying to find attachments worrying about rng it obviously makes a difference if i land on a purple pk and you land on a white p2020 i'm gonna probably win that unless i'm an absolute duck no he landed on the freaking shoddy i'm dead I'm so washed. 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 <laughs> that system has made the game so fun and so dynamic. As a person who loves fighting in the game and loves as much action as possible, Solus has been perfect. They go along with the fact that you can land on fully kitted weapons, you have a second life. The fact that there's two, there's a respawn system that automatically responds to you if you die, I'm not gonna lie, allows you to play not so smart, but a lot more fun. I can land off drop and go for fights right away. Running around, especially if I'm in World's Edge, I'm going to Fragment. If I'm on, if I'm in Broken Moon, I'm going to the new big middle POI that's like super fun to fight in that you can just run around in the entire time. Honestly, if you want to know the key to getting your solo 20 bomb, that's the key. Utilize your first life as best as possible. If you can use your first life and stay as alive as long as possible with 10, 11, 12, 15 eliminations before going down with your first life, there's a high chance you're gonna get that 20 because when you respawn, and the best thing too about respawning is that you have the opportunity to look around what's going on in the map. You can land on a fight and get more action going, especially if you're trying to get better at fighting. I will say solos is a great tool, a great, great, great tool to work on your fighting ability and your confidence in fights because it's a lot of just 1v1s. But then a lot of times when you're in a 1v1 situation because of the healing factor, that's right, you do heal if you get an elimination and if the person that you killed's first death, then they drop their armor on the ground immediately. You can just armor swap really, really fast. And if you're getting third party, you have the ability to fight the third party off really, really quickly. So it helps you when you're in other situations later in the game, whether that's ranked or even competitive for some of you guys want to compete because obviously Apex is a very, very competitive game. So this game mode is literally built for improvement. And I think that it's one of the best improvement game modes we've ever had in this entire game. So I beg, I plead on my hands and knees, respawn. Ah. Now, obviously there's some issues in the game going on right now, especially with the whole cheater situation. There are cheaters sometimes that will be in solos games. I run into a few of them. Jesus. What? Oh, he's cheating. We're, we're cheating in solos, huh? And he's bad. And the SBMM sometimes can be cranked up and you're fighting really, 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 really good players and or a lot of 4-3 linear horizon crutches.
anyway <laughs> in my opinion as someone who plays a ton of solo pubs it makes for such a fun dynamic enjoyable viewing experience right you're literally watching your favorite player your favorite streamer run it down and try to eliminate everybody in the lobby and drop as high kill game as possible completely on their own without relying on anyone else in my opinion that's really 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 skillful now sometimes don't get me wrong you'll get in the lobbies that are a little bit easier and you can kind of run it down and do your thing but those challenging lobbies being successful in them man it hits different it hits different i tell you what i say all this to say please respawn if you hear me if somebody is out there listening anybody leave solos in apex permanently please got him Like, where are my bullets going, bro? Saw you at the last second, Twain. Smooth, smooth. I'm not gonna lie to you, Chaco. If you're the rev. Nice. That was scary. Oh no, I'm dead. Okay, that worked out. Lovely. My gun didn't come out. Thank God. Is that it? The real one is so good and bad at the same time. It's annoying as hell. What the hell? What? Did I just go bow PK? Just for some content? Like.
Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Okay, now heal. Yeah, I think that, that's it, right? Yeah, nice. GG's. I could have got like a 6K in this game if I didn't suck with the bow. <laughs> I'm so bad with the bow, it's wild. That could have been like a 6K, dude. That could have been a 6K. I just want to take a second to say thank you guys so much for pushing us past 4,000 subscribers. I know this channel has gone through a lot of different phases, especially in Apex specifically, but we're growing, we're learning, and I would love to hear some feedback of what you guys want to see, especially as we go to 5,000 subscribers. If you like this type of content, make sure to come check out me live on Twitch every single day, twitch.tv slash drumbum, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Peace.